shots and don't need the guns to get respect up on this. Alright, welcome back to part three of Pokemon Fire Red. Um, so today we're going to take on Brock, and hopefully we will get our first team member. So, you know, last time we, um, we were level 14, we caught a Spearow, and today we're going to fight Brock. So let's go, let's, let's do this. Hey, you're going to have Dream Big? You dare become the champion? Um, no chance, we just says, alright. Match list, he tells you some trash. Anyway, we have one of the freaking most infamous gems in all of Pokemon history. If you pick Charmander, well, in red at least, but I don't know why I went out. All right, let's go. And one of the most famous trainers. Stop there, really right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock, even though that doesn't make sense. Though I'm not going to ruin the joke. Just just look it up online. Like, like everyone knows the joke, but so you know. But I'm not going to ruin it. Anyway, we're going to take other. There's only one trainer in Brock's gym, this guy. It was Sand Shrew and a Geodude, and that sand, that Geodude was barely a two-hit, so I, I assume Brock's um, Onyx will be like a three-hit KO, and I know I can live at least one Rock Tomb, and if I have to, I can go out to um, Spiro and heal. Well, actually, Spiro came out. Wrong place. So I'm just going to go heal up real quick, and then we're going to take on Brock, and hopefully we will be catching our first team member today. I have a general sense of what I want to catch. Pretty good idea. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find it, though. Um, relatively easy, but we'll see. A rock hard willpower. Rock hard and have true grit and determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all the rock type. Y you like rocks. We get it. <laughs> You're going to... I guess you can say he... Lichen rocks. Oh, brother! This guy stinks! I'll leave now. Anyway, you, you'll lose the honor. Find and show me your best. Let's go. He has a Geo dude. Metal Clyde. Hopefully, I get an attack raise. That would be nice. Hey, let's go. <laughs> we got that nice attack raise. So maybe his Onyx will be a two hit actually. Ooh, and a crit. That's cool. I actually got the attack raise. Level sixteen. I think I'll evolve at the end of this battle too, which will be awesome. Metal Claw. Ooh, no, it's still a three hit barely. Barely. Ow, what the fuck? That hurt. Um, oh, crap. Um, dang. Um, that, this is actually kind of bad. Please miss. Yes. Or go for tackle like an idiot. Yes. Okay. So I think we I think we can win now. Um, that was that was scary. I um oh yeah. See he got he must have gotten max damage on that turn, and we'll take him out. All right, we're good. We win. Yeah, that would have been a three hit. It was almost a two hit. Yeah, he must have gotten max damage the first turn, cause he 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 could have two hit me. And yeah, we're gonna evolve into a Charmeleon. So you know. Got them fire punches, now it's lit, Charmeleon, okay. Shout out to Shofu, that beat down. Okay, take this with you, Team 39, we get Rock Tomb. Okay, so let's keep it, let's keep it moving. So we're going to head on to, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to heal because uh, an injured Charmeleon is not ideal. We're going to fight some more trainers on this next route. And we're going to try and catch, I want to catch um, a Nidoran female. Why? Because, oh wait, yes, finally the running shoes. I mean, I'm probably not going to use them much because I have a speed up button and speed up to me. Speed up with running shoes is kind of overkill. Plus you can't, because my speed up button is on spacebar and I can't actually turn down if I'm holding down spacebar. So I'm probably still just going to speed up and walk. But for normal playthroughs, people just, the, the running shoes are um freaking godsends. Anyway. Yeah, look at that back sprite. Looks like he has what's that on his head? Kind of like looks like he has a tumor on his head. <laughs> anyway, just killing these pidgeys. Ember. Oh my God, Charmeleon, you're too weak. You can't one hit a pidgey. You trash. Okay, 105. All right, you got a bug trainer. Should be easy. Yeah, but why do I want to catch a Nidoran female? Yeah, it's mainly just because I've used Nido King and people use Nido King all the time. So I'm trying to be a little different and original, though. 
after picking a Charmander, your 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 sense of originality has probably already gone out the window. And like no one likes Bulbasaur. And my channel mascot is Squirtle. Which actually now that I think about it, I, I probably should have picked Squirtle, shouldn't I? Oh, don't worry, there'll probably be plenty more playthroughs to pick Squirtle in the future, so yeah. We're gonna scratch away at this freaking quick attack Rattata. What is that, a fear set? <laughs> Competitive Pokemon references that half the people who watch me won't get. <laughs> My life is sad. Alright, 145. Okay. Youngster then. Oh my gosh, should I go down there? I don't know, I'm just gonna fight this guy. There are a ton of freaking trainers on this route, so... I don't know if I'll actually do Mountain Moon today. We'll see. Well, I probably won't start. I'll probably um, do all the trainers on this route, plus try to catch Nidoran female. We'll see how long that takes. I might end up cutting out some of this video. Caterpie, Ember, though. I hope Charmeleon isn't too strong and one shots the freaking Nidoran. I'll probably do some training off screen if I catch one. 138, Greg, he went down. So I'm going to try and avoid the trainer so I can have some experience to get Nidoran female when I get it. Caterpie, Ember this. 24, Metapod. Take this out. And we are good. Let's see if we can find one. That's a Jigglypuff. Scratch it. I killed it with Scratch Well. Okay, Charmander, you might be a little too strong. Let's, oh, let's quick get to level 19. Nope, that won't even level me up. That's, that's insane. Freaking Pidgeys, you're useless to me. Useless. Level 19? Alright, let's be good in the hood. I don't even, I think you can find it. Oi. Oi, it's a male. And this honestly might be a backup option. Oh god, I actually have to attack it. Oh, this could be bad because it could, these things can have poison point. Don't, ooh. I hope the scratch doesn't kill it. Don't kill it. Yes. Exactly where I want you to be. Oh, I almost attacked it again. Catch it. I'm still going to look for female for a little bit longer, but if I don't find one... Ugh, i got to think of a nickname for you if I don't find a female. Um, I can, I'm going to call you... Lavish. Because you're a king, and kings are lavish. So I'm going to call you... Young Lavish this okay let's keep looking that's a pidgey God. if I get to 10 minutes and I haven't found to, um if I'm, I'm just gonna if I get to 10 and I haven't found to, um female I'll just go with um male it's kind of makes me sad because I really want to use female because I have a freaking great I have a nickname for it that's the perfect nickname for a female in Nidoran. Ugh, this game hates me. Crossover that'll end your life because I got more handles than an acro bike. Ooh, spin them hot stolen bars. That's that's from G's mixtape. So you know I don't I didn't make those. I didn't make those. I didn't make those bars. Hmm. I have any more stolen bars? Let's see. I'm a I'm a veteran, dude. Been the OG since been the OT since the red and the blue. Flow turn you green, so I'm Emerald too. And they call me NX because I'm better than you. Woo! Nice stolen G bar from OT. Just, just go go check go check out Mount Cornet. That that was a great mixtape. Freaking G, he spit that hot fire. Shout out to my guy Garrett E. This. I don't know why. Naran male, come on, give me a female. No, no, I think about it. I wonder if Nidoran male's version exclusive. You know, I don't care that much anymore, so we're going to go with male. 
and use that Nidal King because my team is looking freaking original right now. Okay. So you know I don't I don't care anymore. We're just gonna use that male Nidal Ram. So we're gonna put Young Lavish in the lead. Let's see his nature. We got timid. That's gar that's garbage. Ugh. Freaking heck am I doing with timid? I can't attack now. Ugh, freaking trash. Oh, we'll, we'll work with it. Alright. So we're going to get lavish some experience. So we're going to fight these two trainers I didn't fight yet. Start with this guy. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? I don't mess with shorts. Come at me. We are in pack. So yeah, I'm just going to, we're going to do some switch training. Probably get it around level 14. I'm just going to. Ow, he got all five, you freaking... What a jag. Who gets all five fury attacks? Like, honestly? Oh, wow. You leveled up immediately. Honestly, who actually gets all five fury attacks? Freaking hacker over here. That look you give me is intriguing. What look? Baby girl, come over here. I'm gonna hit you with these. Uh, now I have to switch because this thing has no defense. My team is literally all offense right now. Let's see. Nidoran, see, you freaking son of a biscuit. I wanted one of these. Hit it with a leer. I wanted one of those. You. Ow. That did half. <laughs> you suck. Die. Wow, that. Ember it, Ember it again. 63, level 9, alright. So let's fight this girl down here who I actively avoided. E did you touch me? Yes, I did. <laughs> what you gonna do? Send me to prison. Okay, what? Oh. <laughs> Yay, now we get to play the when will I freaking wake up game. It's, the f it's my favorite game in Pokemon. Like, you have no idea. Like, playing the one will I wake up is, like, the best. Especially when they're not attacking you. And they're just literally sitting there taunting you because you can't wake up. <sighs> At least you didn't go for Sing again. Metal Clock. Take you out. Level 10 for Lavish. Oh, I really wish it would have learned Double Kick, but I don't think I guess that's, like, 13. Which kind of sucks. We can talk to this guy. Talk to this gym right here. You yeah, better take a rest. It really takes a lot out of you. Yeah. All right. But this Boulder Batch and Brock, you respect him. He's he's a cool gym leader guy. Yeah, that's it. I was just tripped over Rocky Pokemon. It was a Geo dude. How do you trip over a anthro? How do you trip over a living rock? Well, actually, no. I think how do you not trip over a living rock? Sometimes you have too many of them, and you add them to your PC. Team Rocket attacks from these cities, and now they go down the news talking about it. Six Pokeballs? Yeah, that'll do. And, hello, guy. He's gonna give me a Magikarp. I'm gonna buy it because, um... I'm gonna name it the freaking... Like I said, I'm really original with my nicknames. So we're gonna name it Magi... Um, crap. Magi KYS? Yeah. We're gonna name it Magi Crap. Because I'm... Such an original, um, freaking give refund. Do you get what you're getting? Yeah, I bet I do. I'm gonna name it Magic Crap. Oh, and I actually got an amazing nature, which I'm sad about. Jolly on Magic Harp is freaking, is freaking awesome. It's bad I'm not using Gyarados. Oh well. Actually, yeah, that's kind of sucks in Gen 2 because it's sad moves are special and, you know. Magic Gyarados is a physical Pokemon. I mean, it's not that bad because it already had things like Earthquake and stuff, but it's not green. I'll keep, actually, I'll keep Spiro with me. I'll put Magic Arc in the PC. Anyway, we're at 14 minutes, so I think this is a good length. So, next time we go through Rock Tunnel. Oh boy, Zubats, kill me now.